Hey guys, welcome back, and if you're new here, hit that subscribe button down below. Also, turn on my post notifications. I post cooking videos on Mondays and vlogs on Fridays. Okay guys, in this cooking video, we're going to be making a five-course Thanksgiving feast. We're going to start off with our turkey, then we're going to go on to having our stuffing, our two types of potatoes, we're going to have mashed potatoes and sweet potatoes, and finally, we're going to finish it off with some Brussels sprouts. Okay guys, so the first thing we're going to do is get this turkey seasoned, and we're going to put it in the oven. To season turkey, you're going to get a little bit of olive oil. Drizzle it on top, just gonna rub it around. Don't be afraid to get your hands dirty. It's a little slimy, but yeah, you gotta make sure your turkey's nice and covered with all of this olive oil. Just make sure your turkey's nice and juicy. All right guys, to season this turkey, we're gonna be using a little bit of garlic salt, not granulated garlic, but garlic salt. So you're gonna use two tablespoons of garlic salt, put that on the turkey. Two tablespoons of cumin. Two tablespoons of granulated onion. Two tablespoons of black cracked pepper. And then finally, a teaspoon of salt. You don't want to put any more than that because you already have your salt and your garlic salt. Alright guys, that looks pretty good. So right now I'm going to throw it in the oven at 350. Uh, to make any turkey, you want to put it in the oven for 15 to 20 minutes per pound and then check it periodically because it could be done sooner or later. Now this turkey is going to cook a lot quicker because I did not stuff the turkey. I don't like stuffing my turkey because it takes it a lot longer and then it gets all weird on the inside because you're like trying to figure out if it's cooked or not. The breast might be cooked, it might not be cooked. Uh, rule of thumb, don't stuff your turkey. If you want to stuff your turkey, go be my guest, but personally, I don't like doing it because it adds a lot of work to what I don't want to have to do. Okay guys, our turkey's sitting in the oven right now. We're going to start our potatoes. We're going to have our sweet potato and butternut squash mash, and then we're going to have regular old mashed potatoes. First thing you guys want to do is you want to skin both of these. Now for the mashed potatoes, my family likes to skin in there. I know, we're weird. Let it be. So we're just going to leave the skin on my potatoes here. So all I'm really going to be skinning today are my sweet potatoes and butternut squash. Okay, so after you're done skinning your sweet potato and your butternut squash, you want to dice them up, throw them in some water, then you want to cut up your potatoes, throw them in water, put those on the stove, and let them boil until they're nice and soft. Okay guys, so once your potatoes are done boiling, you want to throw them in a the sink, get all the water up, and make sure they're nice and dry. So after you drain your potatoes, you're going to put them back in a pot on the stove. Don't turn the stove on yet. For your sweet potatoes, you're going to add half a cup of cream cheese, two tablespoons of butter, two tablespoons of ground cinnamon, and two tablespoons of sugar. So for your regular potatoes, it's basically the same thing. You're going to add two tablespoons of butter, the other half of the cream cheese, and you're going to add in pepper and garlic. Okay, so after all your ingredients in the pot, you're going to take out a mixer. I use a mixer instead of a masher because the mixer will achieve the best consistency the quickest. Instead of using a masher, you're just going to have to continuously mash it down, sit in there for I don't know how long until you get it smooth, and there's still going to be lumps. So I recommend that you use a mixer for this recipe. You're going to go in there and mix it and whip it till it's nice and smooth. Okay, to recap, we have the turkey in the oven. We have our potatoes on the stove boiling. So right now we're going to work on our stuffing. In the stuffing, you're going to use two cloves of garlic, two stalks of celery, and then one small to medium onion. Okay, guys, once your vegetables are nice and chopped up, you're going to put them in a pot with a tablespoon of olive oil, brown them, add a cup of chicken stock, and then let them cook down. Okay, while our chicken stock and onion and garlic and all that is all cooking down, we're going to chop up our bread. I'm using regular loaf bread. You can use like French bread or crusty bread, whatever you want to do. Uh, we're just going to chop this up into cubes and throw it in a pan. Okay, so now our bread's all nice and chopped up, spread out in this pan. Now we're going to add our chicken stock mixture to it. Okay, now we're going to throw this in the oven at 350 until it's nice and golden brown on top. Okay guys, we're in the final stretch of this recipe. I know you guys are tired. I am too. I'm hungry. I'm tired. I want to just eat and then pass out and then sleep the rest of the day away. Okay, so the last part we have to do is make our Brussels sprouts. Now, to start this off, we're going to cut up eight slices of bacon. Let me get that, so be right back.
Okay, so we have our eight slices of bacon. We're gonna chop them up. We're gonna throw these in a pan. Let them cook down, right around all the fat. And then we're gonna throw in our Brussels sprouts. Stir them around. And then we're gonna put them in a pan. Put them in the oven with everything else at 350. Okay guys, we're getting to the end of this video. We are now getting ready to put everything together on a plate and eat it. But there's one more thing we have to do. We have to make gravy. It's Thanksgiving, you have turkey, you have potatoes. You can't have that without gravy. We have equal parts fat and flour. You can use butter, olive oil, vegetable oil. I'm going to be using rendered fat from the bacon from earlier. I'm gonna use one tablespoon of that along with one tablespoon of flour. You're gonna cook that down and make a roux. Make sure your roux is nice and dark. Then I'm gonna take some juices from our turkey that have been left in the pan and put it in there and mix it, let it cook down, and then our gravy is finished. I hope you all have a happy Thanksgiving. You all eat a lot, you get nice and full and get to sleep all day afterwards. All right, so if you guys like the video, please leave a like down below. Comment any ideas you might have for next video and subscribe. I'll catch you guys in the next one.